Well, hello there, YouTube. How's this for coming out late? I think it's like 20 after four. Sunset's at like 428, 429. It's, it's starting to kick back up again. But this is the first time I know of. It literally woke me up this morning. First time I know of that it wasn't pouring down rain. We're in all kinds of flood watches. And you know how hard it is to build a video and the, the, the things keep popping up and driving you nuts You're right in the middle of ed editing you got to swipe the little notification i know you can turn them all off but i miss things when i turn them off but it can be quite annoying but look how dark it is out here but this is i think in the middle of the day it was darker than this it's kind of crazy but yeah, I didn't turn the video live until like five after four this afternoon. <laughs> That's only been a little bit ago. So I'm just kind of crawling out of the dungeon. But uh, again, I hope uh, you guys had a wonderful Christmas yesterday. That was great. But uh, yeah, the floods are kind of backing off. There's quite a bit of water out in the driveway earlier. Holy moly. Mother Nature. It's that time of year. It just gets wet. Dogs are all lounging in there with Mama. I think Danny's out here somewhere. <laughs> I was just about to put the camera away and look who it is. Danny Magoo. What you doing, boy? <coughs> Were you hiding underneath your, your shade tree, huh? <laughs> are you a good boy, huh? You good boy, Danny. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you're a good old boy. No jumping. What is it with that you with you lately? Huh? You losing your... <laughs> Go get him, Danny. Let's go. Go on. <laughs> Come on, Danny. Come on. <laughs> There's the woo wooer outside. Oh, there! <laughs> Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Where's your ball, Danny? We'll go get it. <laughs> All right. I actually have. There's a whole bunch of RCs that, at some point, become like parts things. I got a Volkswagen. These, uh, I got a whole bunch more than this, but I think I only have about five or six that are together and would run if, if I had batteries for them and figure out where the controllers are. <laughs> There's some of them that use the same uh, controller. You just uh, swap out the chip or whatever. But, yeah, I don't know where that. But I was going to show you this. This is that brushless motor. The Kelly got me to go with the TRX4 Sport, but it's a two and one. In the end, where you see the wires coming out, the speed controller or the um, ESC electronic speed controller is built into the back of that, so you don't need a separate one. Twenty three hundred kilovolts. This thing was um, eighteen hundred. And then for a while they had an option for the 2300 and now it's just standardized. Kind of like, you know, there was 96s with an option 107 twin cam or 103. Then all of a sudden the 103 became standard. And same thing kind of happened with the Milwaukee 8s. They started out as 107s. Then the 114 was an option. Now 114 is just standard. <laughs> Although the, well, we'll see what happens for 23, which is... Coming up next month. Anyway, that thing's pretty cool, huh? Pretty fancy dancy. Let me pop her out of the box right quick. I'm not going to yank it all out at this point because uh, all the wires and stuff are behind it. But that red plate on the end there, that's where the speed controller is back in this area. And then the brushless motor up front. Waterproof and all that kind of good jazz. Um, I do have a... Um, there's an LED controller for this thing so that you can you can easily switch between all the different modes and options and stuff for it. I think this one 
because the Traxxas requires a counter counterclockwise rotating motor because the motor is facing backwards in it, you know. But uh, I think this one because it it's specifically for a crawler, and I think it's uh, it's counterclockwise already. But I don't know. Anyway, really cool. <laughs> it's amazing the technology. Things have changed so much. And now it's rapidly changing again. That scar on my hand, that was a, a result of that air hammer getting away with me from me the other day. Kind of pinched me between a, the, the hammer and the edge of something. I think it was a sprocket. <laughs> anyway, cool stuff. You guys ready for another episode of what clunker can I dig up out of a deep, dark hole? <laughs> How about the good old Hummer? I think this one was, I don't think it was a late, it could have been the late 80s. I think it might have been the 90s some point. And again, oh yuck, there's dirt falling off. It's a battery attached inside. Ooh, that one's got the heat sink on it too. This one was pretty fun too. This is pretty much the same chassis that the stadium trucks that I have are in, but the wheelbase is noticeably longer. This thing was pretty cool. And it was so heavy that it would sway in the corners like, a, like an old American car. Oh, it's still there. I was about to say the mirror's ripped off the other side. But again, let's see if we can... Uh, I'm not going to do a detail. I just want to clean it up a little bit. See how this how this old gal comes out. Yeah, this one's going to be a good one. I'm going to have to crack the, a door and blow all the dust outside on that one. That's thick. Otherwise, it'll be all over the motorcycles next time we go for a ride or something. It's like, where did all the dust come from? Well... <laughs> All righty. Does that look a little better? <laughs> I literally had to wash this thing with soap and water. But it had other dirt and stuff in it. I think I remember letting the kids play with these things unsupervised. And that's where a whole bunch of stuff got messed up. <laughs> The antenna, which is actually a functioning antenna. Oops. It actually connects to it. So that that is the aerial for it. But see how that got damaged. I start to remember these things as it goes by. And see how this um, little wire here is connected to the motor, which is a stock to my motor. It... Um, the brake lights actually worked. It has a little chip and stuff inside there. And when you backed off the throttle, it turned the brake lights on. Or if you went reverse, I think reverse turned the brake lights on too. I remember I was sitting here looking at this. And I don't remember what I had that heat sink in. But I remember grinding that out because it was hitting something somewhere. Those old Futabas. Oh, look at the... This was stuck to the top of it, if you seen the bump through all the dust. It's telling me the 78 chip is in the Tamiya Blackfoot. Yes, I have one of those, too. And I have a Clodbuster. Have you guys ever seen one of those big, huge monster truck-looking things? They were pretty slow, but... I it, this one ran good it has motor because it has a motor on each end. I'll have to bring that thing out. That's that's something else. It's got lights and and fans and all kinds of stuff on it. It would uh, overheat the a speed controller and had a fan running on it. I think that's what I had it on. I I literally found a little computer fan at a computer. You remember when we used to go in to computer stores and you could buy computer parts. Remember that? You could buy all the resistors and stuff like that. Try to find that stuff nowadays. Look at these shocks. I don't think there's I don't think there's any oil in all four of these things. I mean these things got used like you wouldn't believe. We would go out 
like on a weekend or something. And I had my own shop for quite a while. So if it was slow, we just load up the kids and off we go. <laughs> something else. It's weird. Every time I come out here and talk to you guys about these things, it puts me in a funk for a little bit because I just, your mind just can't stop thinking about stuff and the kids were all young and and the fun, you know, the kids that you were their whole world, you know, that's all they knew. I mean, we were all the same way with our parents too. I know I was. It's kind of weird breaking away and being on your own. I, uh, I I got on my own after I met Kelly. It was a little bit of a, well, a little bit of, of a confusion. And I was never apologized to for that either. It's kind of weird. It's a different story, but but these are all wheel drive and just like I think there was a kit. Let's see how everything. There's no there's no diffs in it or. Uh, Differential locks, but that was never seldom was that ever a problem. But uh, you know, I was telling you guys yesterday. Look, how, look how stiff that shock is on the. Well, I might have it set that way too, because that cowling's pretty heavy. But it was crazy the places we went with these things, and I wish there was some kind of a mile or hour counter on them, because it's got to be it's got to be crazy. Man, and all the stacks of batteries I had. And um, we just have them chargers going. Just hook them up to the... We had the ones you had inverters. When those, you remember when those things came out? I think they're... I think the biggest one you get was like two or 300 watt. But it was enough to run the chargers. And then a lot of the chargers back in the day were... Had a DC option, you know. And we just hook them up to the car battery. And that was actually the fastest way to charge them was off a car battery. But anyway, good times. Really, really, really good times. You long for those days. You know, they say, you remember when your your kids are born, you know, hold them tight because they'll be grown up and on their own tomorrow. And I'm like, I'll be just glad when we can have a conversation with them. The next thing you know, they're all gone. Long gone now. <laughs> but... Anyway, what's cool is my son and I just had this crazy long talk about RC cars. And, uh, yes, he still definitely does his RC cars. He's having some – he's got a couple of really fast gas ones, and he's having driveline problems and some other stuff with one. He's, one's got an electrical problem that drives him nuts. He gets an overheat warning, and nothing's hot. So, anyway, whole logistical thing. But, yeah, we had a good time talking about – RC cars and all the times we're goofing around. <laughs> Good times. Love those kind of feelings just even thinking about them, you know. Tis the season, you know. Yeah, it's all about family and all these. It definitely got me this year. I started digging out these old RC models and stuff that we used to play with with the kids. And anyway. Here she is. All the symbols. I need to get them tires off of this thing and clean them too that thing's a mess but I blew everything out and she's uh if I can figure out radios and stuff like that we hook up the lights and go ripping around chasing the dogs or something I got boxes of stuff it take me once like Kelly says you start in that you're gonna go down the rabbit hole you know that don't you and I go yeah I think there was a, a light or something that was on top of there. And they had an option. This thing unbolts had an option thing for the for a turret and stuff up there. It's cool stuff. Crazy. This one shockingly goes dang fast as well. Lots of fun. <laughs> it's been cool, all of you guys, that I drug you down a memory rabbit hole as well with these RC cars. I think all of us, pretty much if you're into motorcycles and stuff, you were at some point into RC cars. Or maybe it had nothing to do with motorcycles and you're just into RC cars. If you haven't ever messed with these things, 
I don't care how old you are, gender, it doesn't matter. Does not matter. Everybody enjoys playing with an AC or RC car. It just, until you've experienced it, you just have no idea how much fun that little toy can give you. And great, really great for the family. Well, hello there, you two. Here we are. It's like after 10, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And um, finally, we got a point that it is not pouring. I mean, absolutely pouring rain. Yeah, it's been raining all day. Yeah. Nonstop. I don't know how I got that few minutes of a quiet spot when I talked to you guys when I first started the vlog. Yeah. I went over to the little gate thing there, and literally all you could hear is gutters. But I was standing there not getting wet. That's and good. that was the end of that. Yep, the light stuff ended. Yeah, I was messing with those RC car cars. You could probably hear it pounding outside. It was flat coming down. So hard even Danny wanted in. Yeah. He's got this thing here lately. He doesn't. I tried to get him to come in. He doesn't want to come in. He wanted in. Oh, that was somebody out there target shooting, too. That, yeah. That gets him in, too. <laughs> yeah, any kind of gunfire he does. I yeah. don't know. I mean, who's out there playing around in a poured down rain? But they oh, were. Oh, they're crazy. They might have a lean-to out there or something, but... Yeah, and then I think sometime in the morning or early, like sometime after midnight, this crazy windstorm's coming. And, I mean, the, the weather thing's just blowing alert, alert, alert. I know, and everybody across yeah. the U.S. has got crazy, crazy weather. Crazy weather, yeah. Yeah. So over here on the West Coast, from basically Tacoma down basically to us is where this big front's coming through and they're saying power outages and... And then on top of that, all the rain, the snow level suddenly went to 7,000 feet. So yeah. everything that had snow was melting and coming rushing down the rivers. Yeah. Lots of water. <clears throat> yeah. We'll have to fire up a watercraft and, <laughs> to uh, get to the store or whatever, huh? Yeah. Little pontoons. Yeah. But another chill day. Dogs are freaking out. Even Sasha went out in the rain just to go run around and stretch her leg. I know it. Because enough of being cooped up, I want out yeah. and play. But, Mama? Yes, sir. Is that about all you got? I think that's about all we got. <laughs> if we get bored, I got way more RC car stuff to show you. Oh, yeah. He has just no end. Obsessions. I need to look and... I don't, can you... I need to see if we can get some of those old batteries and... I need to find the controllers and stuff for all those yeah. things. Yeah. See if I can make them things run. But anyway, I think we'll roll on that. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. Thank you. All right. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. See you then. Appreciate you watching. Yes. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye. -bye now. Mm -hmm.